Hello and welcome back to MTD CNC, my friends. The question I want to pose to you is, why would a 70-year-old company, third generation, mold-making company, look into the OKK machine? Let's find out. I'm with my buddy Lance and we're going to figure out what the differences are between the precision, the rigidity of 40 taper versus 50 taper. And Lance has been doing this a long time. Even though he looks young, this is third generation. He was running around in diapers. His dad was making him sweep up the floors. He started in the machine shop and now he's helping run this place. So believe me when I tell you, this is a story that you want to listen to. Lance, let's talk L and Z and let's talk OKK. Firstly, LNZ has been around for 70 years. And as I look around your machine shop, you have some of the best machines on the planet in here. And you've recently invested in the OKK. So brief history of LNZ, and then let's move into the OKK after that. Okay, I'm a uh, third generation company that started in 1952. Um, originally a die cast uh, producer of die cast dies. Uh, the evolution of engineered plastics, so on and so forth, fast forward, We've always been um, a highly contoured and 3D oriented shop, and you need precision machines to create precision tooling. So we've always geared ourselves to high-end precision machines, stayed up with the latest of technology, because if you don't, you're just another shop and you get left in the dust. Uh, we have a diverse cross-section of customers, and quite frankly, that's why we're still alive. Uh, we've never put all our eggs in one basket, and when one thing dries up, another thing comes to life. So, um, you need a great workforce, you need great machines, and you need the customers. You put those three together, and you, you'll, you'll have success. Very, very so, well said, Lance. Right. And in my head right now, I'm singing, I'm a survivor, right? Like, you yeah. guys have figured it out with 70 years in the making. Uh, you recently invested in the OKK. Yeah. Now, Talking with you off camera, so I have some insight already, guys, so I know how to drive this conversation, right? You were looking at a 40 taper machine. You needed it to be precise, but you had some hesitation about the rigidity and hard material on a 40 taper machine based on what you previously knew for decades with some of the other machines here. Can we talk about the investment in the OKK and the rigidity that it's allowed you to create even though there was hesitation and why there was hesitation? Certainly. You know, the three, we've had 40 taper spindle machines uh, for many years. We've had 50 taper spindle machines. 50 taper spindle machines traditionally are much more rigid. Um, you can take a much more aggressive cut. And um, we were just a little hesitant that something that had this size work envelope uh, with a 40 taper spindle. Uh, this does have a dual contact uh, spindle on it. And in talking with Nick Giannotti and, and Maruka, we have a long-standing relationship with both of them. Uh, he said, I'm telling you, this is the machine for you. And he, he came through again. Um, and Nick continually brings uh, new machines that are geared towards our industry and our niche. Um, and he's never steered us wrong. Uh, so we took a leap of faith and we said, all right, if you said it's going to work, it's going to work. And it does. And we get beautiful finishes. Um, and, and the rigidity is just outstanding. Outstanding. Wow. So, so I want to talk a little bit about what you've conveyed here, if that's right with you, Lance. And that's, okay, 40 taper, 50 taper, right? You've worked on both machines. Typically, the sacrifice from the 40 and 50 taper is the overall speed of the machine, right? Because when we go 50 taper, maybe that main machine spindle doesn't spin as fast, or maybe the bed yep. isn't gonna move as fast. So what we've actually combined here is that speed of a 40 taper, the higher RPM, combined with the uh, horsepower and torque with that big plus. And on top of that, you mentioned precision. So you've got the accuracy to go in with everything that you wanted to kind of combine to overall produce the molds that you want to create, right? It's exactly, exactly. So we have, we have the speed and speed makes a, a tremendous difference. And you're not going to put a 50 taper uh, spindle with this RPM in this machine, but um, the combination of all the factors that you just said makes this a great machine. 
yeah, specifically would, for what we do in this size. And I would imagine when you're in molds, not everything's gonna be a huge tool. So you get to those smaller tools. And at what point are we spinning an end mill and it just needs to go faster, even though we have the rigidity. This seems like a perfect combination for you here at LNZ. It is, it is. Uh, this has been a real producer. Um, and as I said, the, the precision cuts um, and finite detail that you can get with the spindle speed that we have, it's, it's been a winner. And Lance, ultimately what we're trying to do when we have the finish that you can get on this machine is reducing the secondary operations because 70 years old, I'm sure you've seen a ton of the handwork that went into these things decades yeah. ago, or maybe even more recently, and that's what we're trying to reduce, right? Exactly. You want, it, you want the part to come off the machine as close to complete as possible. It will never be 100%. There always takes a little bit of human intervention, but the closer you can get, the better. Um, it cuts down on the labor required, and quite frankly, the labor pool in the industry that we're in is pretty slim. So you have to do as much as you can uh, through mechanical means, and then just put that finishing touch with human labor. Yeah, and you've yeah. been doing this a long time, your company, your family, the fact that we saw a lot of this get offshored. So it is extremely important to remain as cost competitive as you can, I'd imagine, and keep those costs low from your end so you can keep them lost, uh, low for your customers as well, right? Absolutely. Lights out is the name of the game. You gotta run as many automated hours as you can. Do the uh, 2D uh, operations during the day and, and run the 3D lights out. And that's, yeah. that's the only way you stay competitive. Uh, Lance, you are amazing. For everyone who's watching right now, gosh, I just want to reiterate the importance of guys like Nick and Kevin at Maruka. Lance conveyed the message. He said, we trusted him. We believed that this would work. Even though we thought a 50 taper machine was going to be more beneficial, Lance goes, we trust our guys. We've worked with them a long time. The service, the support, everything that goes with Maruka, just incredibly significant from top to bottom, this story of combination, autonomous running, having precision, and the right partners to do the job. Lance, for anyone who wants to get in touch with you and your company, where can they find you, your websites, home addresses, uh, personal social security numbers. Yes, I love, I love to tell that joke. For those of you who are watching, you might be bored of it by now, but Lance did smile. With all, in all seriousness, where can we find out more about your company? The best way to uh, find out about our company and our contact information is through our website. It's www.lztool.com. L is in Larry, Z is in Zebra, tool.com. LarryandZebra.com. Check them out. Thank you all for watching MTD CNC. We hope to see you all again soon.